too busy trying to figure out who to sponsor next. We love him. Thank you. But he doesn't have time for podcasts. Oh, I, I, I figured he was a podcast, too. Here we go. This one here. I've been excited for this one all week. Two of my favorite. Oh, single leg. Look at that. Goes for the cover very quickly. Both want to make a quick impression here and pick up a win. Yeah, a lot of eyes watching wrestling open every single Thursday night on Indie Wrestling IWTV. Only a one count. Oh, Tiara James. There's a crucifix. Oh, you don't watch on AM radio? No, no, no. I listen to the uh, radio broadcast. How do I sound on radio? Oh, it's not you. Who is it? Uh, Drew Cordero's parents. Oh, well, I'm going <laughs> to tune in next week. I won't be here. She's cooking macaroni and cheese while calling wrestling. Side-standing headlock here, but Rebecca Scott, part-time flight attendant, her goal, not her dream, her goal is to be in this great sport full-time, to, to achieve that. One of the steps is to compete here at Wrestling Open more often and pick up some wins. If I were a flight attendant, my goal would be a wrestling match on a 747. Have you ever done that? I got into a few fights with Mad Dog Vashon. Hmm. Oh. Scott able to finally get out of it, but Tiara James back up to her feet early. Oh, and a standing side headlock. Very aggressive one, too. You usually don't see that. You usually try to see people finesse their way into a move like that. Down goes Tiara James, and Tiara has had some ups and downs here at Wrestling Open. She wants to get on the winning track here, and there is a Samoan drop. If you're going to do done. it, if you're going to get back on the winning track, a Samoan drop is a great way to start. And Tiara James, a great power base to her game. Great athlete as well, but looking like she is going to go the power route here against Rebecca Scott. That may have been a mistake, allowing Rebecca Scott to get back up to her feet like that. If you have an opening, you want to be the aggressor and grab your opponent and pick them up. Tiara James feeling good about her work so far. A little bit of showmanship here. And another shoulder block in that corner. When you have a power base advantage over your opponent like Tiara does, what's your strategy going into a match well, like this? You want to do things just like that, dropping the sternum across the shoulder. Tiara James has got to hit power moves early. That way she can put her away later on. Well, Rebecca Scott has shown herself to be very resilient, pulling out that last second, literally, win over Becca a few weeks ago, getting the win at nine minutes and 59 seconds in our wow. 10 minute time limit, pulling off that one. So she is very crafty. Tiara has to make sure she keeps Rebecca Scott down like that. And Tiara James, just power move after power move, slamming that lower back. We have four women's matches tonight here. We are definitely on the right track when it comes to that. This is the first, or excuse me, the second of four. We had one during our spotlight match, Zeta Steele beating the returning Kaya McKenna as Tiara James looking to get in the winner's circle. Wow. Going right after that back. And there's the cover, two. Only two. You know, I remember back in my day where you were lucky to get one women's match a month on six different cards because there weren't a lot of women and then there were not, weren't a lot of promoters that wanted to use women. And I love seeing how progressive a wrestling territory like Wrestling Open is booking four wrestling matches. You gotta love to see it. There are some forearms. Rebecca Scott showing that resiliency that she showed during her first two times here at Wrestling Open. Yep, Tiara James has to be careful. Gets that sling blade, hooks the leg. Shoulder up at two, says referee Scott Robinson. Now, Rebecca Scott on the comeback trail has to keep moving quickly. Is it weird? Oh, there's a knee to the head. Is it weird that Scott always wants to referee the women's match? He does not. Always begs. He oh, does not. Another knee and Tiara could be rocked. That one may have caught her. Gonna go again for the knee. No, goes for the drop kick instead. Connects, is this it? Two. Oh, you gotta put her away. Unable to secure the victory. This one has been back and forth. Both competitors showing why they are such up and coming, exciting prospects. Trying to put this one away. Yeah, Scott showing resilience. Oh, look at this, she got a choke. Went for that spine buster, but got caught by Rebecca Scott, who has been practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in recent times, so trying to use 
oh. that background to get a choke, but Tiara James using that strength to get out of it. Yeah, she used that American turnbuckle. Oh, but she got caught with a five boot right to the, the face. The time limit, five minutes remaining. Hits the spine buster this time. Two, three. And Tiara gets the win. The time of the fall, five minutes, seven seconds. Here is your winner, Tiara James. A very strong win here, literally and figuratively, for Tiara James. She needed that. She needed that win right there for her confidence. She needed it for the standing here in this very aggressive women's division that we have at Wrestling Open.